Long ago and far away, a legendary interdimensional being known as Zordon came to the city of Angel Grove to establish a vanguard in the never-ending struggle against evil. With the aid of his trusted assistant Alpha-5, the Noble Master sought out six extraordinary teenagers and gave them the power to transform into a superhuman fighting force. In time of great need, the young heroes could now call upon colossal assault vehicles known as Zords. While the identity of the six remained a guarded secret, their courageous exploits soon became a stuff of legend, earning them the title... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The official game of the movie. Alright, yeah. This is gonna be a really quick one, but hey. I do love some uh, arcade style beat em ups. I played a lot of them in my time. And I'm a fan of Power Rangers too, what can I say? So, best of both worlds, right? 6,000 years ago, a morphological being known as Ivan Ooze ruled the world with a reign of unparalleled terror. He rid entire planets of their adult population, then brainwashed the young to follow in his evil path. A faction of young warriors, known as the Order of Melodian, lured him into a hyperlock chamber and buried him deep underground. Present day Angel Grove. An inner city construction crew accidentally uncovers the hyperlock chamber and releases the evil power of Ivan Ooze. As you may have guessed, this game follows the plot of the, uh, of the 1995 movie of the same name. And, uh, pretty closely, might I add. The jingle that plays whenever you start a stage is amazing, by the way. Anyway, at the start of every stage, you can choose between any of the six rangers. Each have their own, uh, well, they all pretty much play the same, but when you, uh, well, let's just get into the game. I'll start with Adam. They also have, uh, voice clips from the show, which is a nice touch. They each have their weapons, and if I can not get grabbed, that'd be appreciated. There we go. You can jump, attack, punch, kick, all that good stuff. And by holding down the button, start to glow, and you get ranged weapons. Isn't that nice? And did I mention, this game also has music from the show, and such. Very well remixed and orchestrated for the, uh, for the console experience. The Genesis version that I'm playing right now is, um, kind of its own unique beast. This game also came out on Super Nintendo, but it didn't really follow the movie at all. By the way, when you defeat enemies, they drop power coins. You want to pick those up because they will uh, either they will heal you, give you extra credits, or just give you more points. Not the points really mean anything right now because I don't have anybody to compete with, but hey, it is authentic, if nothing else. So anyway, the Super Nintendo version of this, sure, you fight monsters from the show, and that's all well and good, but despite it having, you know, the movie in the title, there isn't really anything from the movie in that game other than Ivan Ooze. And it's silly. But whatever. We're playing the Genesis version here today, so let's talk a little more about that. You'll notice that the music is very Genesis. There are six stages in this game. One for every ranger, except you don't actually get to play as... Well, you may not get the opportunity to play as every ranger because... Because, spoiler alert, the last stage is is mainly focused on Zords. But we'll get there when we get there. Anyway. Fight all the Oozmen. Ivan appears and he's gonna... Ugh. Yeah. Doesn't even give us a chance to fight him. But hey. We made some good progress. Now we can continue the story. Once released from the chamber, Ivan wastes no time attacking the command center. And damaging Zordon and Alpha-5. With Zordon down, the Power Rangers lose their powers. Alpha tells them of a power that will help save Zordon. With hesitation, Alpha sends the Power Rangers to the planet Theodos, 
to find the Master Warrior Dulcia, who will help them gain their power they need. I am really jumping the gun on this dialogue, but oh well. Meanwhile, Ivan has gained mind control of the adults of Angel Grove and taken out Lord Zed and Rita. After landing on Fiados, the Power Rangers run into Dulcia, the Master Warrior, who saves them from the Tengu tribe. She guides them to the Neola jungle where they will find the power that they are looking for. The power of the Ninjedi, in fact. She warns them of the danger and sends them on their way. Before they go, Dulcia gives the Rangers the power and the animal powers of the Ninjedi to help them survive. Continuing on through the jungle in their new ninja uniforms, the Power Rangers encountered many difficult enemies, including the skeleton creatures and the stone gargoyles. In the meantime, Ivan has used the adults of Angel Grove to help dig up two of his morphological monsters, the Scorpatron and Hornatron. Back on Fiados, after defeating the stone gargoyles, the Rangers find the Temple of Great Power. They discover how to gain the great power of the temple. At the last of his power, Zordon contacts the rangers and tells them about Ivan. With their new power, the rangers blast back to Earth. They land in Angel Grove as Ivan's ectomorphicons are destroying the city. The power is on! Alright, stage two now. Um, hmm, who to pick this time? Let's go with Aisha. Hold down the button, you can throw your daggers around. Pretty nice. They go at an angle, though. Hey, watch out for cars! Wow, delayed reaction on that guy. Something else I really appreciate with this game is that, unlike, mo unlike most of the really early Power Ranger games, the Rangers actually all look, you know, like they're supposed to. They're, you know, well detailed and match pretty close to how they did in the show. Like, for example, the uh, the other Genesis Power Rangers game, which is a fighting game, uh, tournament style, actually. Like, every Ranger in that game looks the same, except for the Pink Ranger. It's a little embarrassing, but hey, it was early. Appreciate the extra hit on this chain combo. It's really helping out. You also get this power attack with the A button. It's sort of like the, um, sort of like in a game like Final Fight with the Lariat, but when you connect the attack, it lowers your HP a little bit, so I'm gonna try to use that sparingly. Pretty much only for emergency purposes. When you get close to somebody, you can throw them. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Whoop. So back to the Super Nintendo version. The gameplay, if you uh, look up any videos on it, you'll notice it's strikingly similar to the uh, to the uh, the first Power Rangers game on Super Nintendo, which, like this, is a beat 'em up. And uh, both games use a lot of the same assets, whereas the two on here uh, don't. They look very different. <laughs> the big difference, of course, between this one and the fighting game 
Obviously, that one has more, uh, you know, they take more from the show. Not to mention Dragon Zord. This game does not have Dragon Zord, but it does have the Falcon Zord as well as the uh, White Tiger Zord. So you can kind of guess, take a guess as to uh, uh, where this actually takes place in the in the story. For those of you that for those of you that do follow it, which is funny itself uh, in and of itself because the uh, because the movie is it's supposed to be non-canon, right? So. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Stage two is more of the same. We're gonna be fighting a lot of the, <clears throat> a lot of these ooze monsters. You ooze, you lose. Key difference though is that this one's gonna be uh, a bit longer than stage one. I'm trying my best to keep my, uh, keep a. A decent amount of distance. That way they don't. That way they don't grab and stun me for a little, for a little bit because because every second I'm still standing is is a second that I can save fighting these guys. Come here, throw. It's gonna be two cars. Awesome. Run just a tiny bit further because because sometimes these games like to tease you. Whoops! Watch out. That did not pay off at all. The power coins that the enemies drop um, have different effects, like I mentioned before. But after playing enough times, you can tell what the, you can tell which ones have what effect based on the uh, the animal that appears on it. So. The Mastodon, Triceratops, and Sabertooth, I'll, I'll give uh, I'll give points for your score. The Pterodactyl and White Tiger heal. And then the Tyrannosaurus gives you another credit. Oh no, the Triceratops heals it too. I forgot about that. I'm so sorry. In fact, I should have known about this because I, uh, just earlier today I did a test run to, uh, just to re-familiarize myself with the game and and you know, relearn all the ins and outs. It's been a little while since I since I did this. There we go. Spacing out these button presses so I can put them in a uh, put them in a stun lock if I can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes I get grabbed for it. Whatever. Anyway, I know it might have sounded like I griped quite a bit about the Super Nintendo version, but it's actually a solid game by itself. It's just disappointing that it doesn't take more from, you know, the original source material. Anyway, we've reached the end of this stage. We've got a couple more enemies to fight, and then we'll move on to the next part. Where are you going? Alright, get off. There, didn't even have to get close. Whoa, whoa, another one. That's more like it. Come here. Good. Beware of the Hornetron and all of its tallness. 
And beware the Scorpatron too, because it's here too. Now we can choose what Zord we want to pilot. Either the Ninja Megazord or the Falcon Zord, which is my personal favorite. But we'll start off with the, uh, the Megazord, I think. Yes. Those of you who watch the show or the movie know how this thing is formed. One, two, three, four, five. Ching! Zords cannot um, jump. Instead, when you use the C button, they, uh, they can guard for a little bit. However, they function pretty much the same as the Rangers do. The Ninja Megazord has this really cool spin kick when you uh, when you input the dash, which is uh, double tapping, kind of like Smash Brothers. Oh, that didn't work. Well, oh, I don't know. He's gonna do something. No. Okay, he's just gonna taunt me, I guess. Wait for you to get closer. Do not want to throw him. Come here. Ah. All right, you're gonna back out. Now it's time for the other one. Ah, it's a little, little bit awkward to fight because of how short it is, but as long as I'm on the right plane, I can. Ah, come on. There we go. Damage is damage. Of course, I would really prefer speed, but that's just me. Something else to note is that if you get knocked out and lose a credit, upon continuing, you can actually uh, change your character in the middle of a match. Or stage, sorry. So say if I... Uh, if I somehow get destroyed here, then I can switch the Falcon Zord and then just wreck face in retaliation. Watch out. Get back to where I can see you. Barely. Hey, no jumping. That's my job. Ah, had it. There we go. Kaboom! And just like that, we finished a third of the game. Isn't that awesome? Boy, when I joined, I didn't think that things would get this rough, Rocky spoke. No kidding, Aisha replied. Adam replied, remember when we joined? At Rita's moon base, Lord Zed suddenly appears and seals Rita away for a couple of eons. He has his own plans for the Earth, ones that Rita could not handle. The Green Ranger has been losing his morphing powers, and Zed's new putties are giving the Rangers a very tough time. Even the Megazord and the Dragonzord have been defeated. It seems like a time of darkness is about to come. As Tommy's Green Ranger power faded, Zordon transformed him into the stronger White Ranger. That image always tickled me uh, on the inside as a kid. So, with this being a flashback, we can see that uh, Rocky, Adam, and Aisha are now, well, not in the crew yet. It's a little while before they joined, so now we have Jason, Trini, and Zack. This stage being what it is, though, I'm going to go with Tommy. you notice that the music is, uh... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I will just let that speak for itself. I like the charge attack with, uh... With White Ranger here very useful. 
The putties will disintegrate just like they do in the show. Oh, watch out. Just gonna slash away, get this coin. Oh, thank you. Now, I'm not 100%, but I feel like with the power coins, their, their effect is enhanced uh, slightly. Um, if you're playing as a ranger that matches the symbol. With the exception of the Tyrannosaurus, of course, because you only get one credit per uh, per coin. Oh, look. Steel drums. Wait a minute. I thought we were playing Streets of Rage, not Final Fight. Alright, whatever. Roll with it. And we get another one. Sweet. It'll definitely come in handy for the, uh... Uh, for the upcoming mini boss. I'm taking it with me. Present for you. It's really funny how you can attack the enemies during their uh, during their transition into the stage and just completely disrupt it, you know. Right. Yeah, that's why I kind of, you know, annoyed by this boss. Because they can do that over and over and over again. But whatever. Come here. Stop it. Let's see, dash attacks seem to be helping out a little bit. Not really, but... Trust me, this isn't even the worst of it. Alright, we should be running away now. Yep, good. Oh, we got the third one. Already. Whoa. We're out already, that's fine. Whoa, that was close. Putties, just like Oozmen, can still, you know, grab and be really annoying like that. Take this with me. Trying to decide if I want to keep them together or just separate them. Because if I group them up like this, I can deal a lot of damage. There goes the barrel. I think I got the problem child out of the way. Awesome. Ooh! No power attack now, please. I think there's only one left. Yep. Why don't you get closer? Wrong way. I am facing the wrong way. Rangers off. Grow, grow, grow. Yep, every time you think the monster's down, they just grow into a titan and, uh, you know, and just wreck things up. But we can do that too.
Just gonna get myself in position here. Almost had something there, but not quite. One fell swoop. The three for one White Tiger Special. Oh, this is going good. This is going way better than my test run. Holy crap. Wanted to turn around with that, but that's fine. It's funny that with with Zords, you know, they're the only ones that get this little sound effect to play when you uh <clears throat> when you want to perform the charge attack. Come on, don't be like that. Alright, you asked for it. Come here! Now that is White Ranger Tiger Power. And it does the uh, directly to you motion, as performed by the late Satoru Iwata. Due to Bulk and Skull's stupidity, three Angel Grove teenagers and a teacher are kidnapped by Goldar while chasing a runaway baby carriage. The Power Rangers must save them before it is too late. I think I am. I keep going back and forth on who on who the better choice is for this stage. I'm gonna go with Kim though. As you'd expect, she has her bow. And fires a straight shot. It's practical, it's sufficient. Let's see. These rocks, uh oh. Hold on. You can bust them down. One of them you have to enter in to proceed to the level. It may not look like they matter much, but... Let's just ignore those. And look! Lord Zed! When he opens his hand like that, he creates the uh, shockwaves on the ground. You have to avoid them for a time. Ugh, like that. And also, when he does that attack, you can't hurt him. Part of the reason I chose Kim for this, uh, for this stage is because she can fire at range. Full screen, in fact. And have no repercussions whatsoever. So long, Zeddy. Now we can proceed. And I just picked up a rock. Okay. Fun fact about that little uh, that little skirmish with Lord Zed there. I'm. I think I was told at one point that fight was optional, but I don't know. It seemed like whenever I play this game, I always have to, I always have to make it happen in order for the stage to proceed. Otherwise, I get stuck. Take this heal. Wow, this one's, like, really putting up a fight. I'm impressed. Alright, here comes Goldar. Definitely my least favorite enemy to fight in this game, because he just flies around and is a jerk. He doesn't stay on the ground long enough to really, you know, put him in a chain, stomp, into a chain or stun lock range. 
Dash attacks bring him down easily. He's gonna slash once, go up, and lather, rinse, repeat. I'm waiting for him to get closer though. There we go. Because I don't want him to go off screen because it's really hard to hit enemies when they're not visible. Jump attacks are also good here. For, well, obvious reasons. Yeah, you can see one punch just knocked him flat on the ground like that. Fortunately, you don't have to you don't have to completely defeat him because once he gets health low enough, he'll just fly away. For now. Let's go with the Thunder Megazord this time around. The Thunder Zords are cool and all, but I don't know, I, th I, th I think I preferred the Dinos myself, j even as a kid, but that's just me. Same deal as before. The charge tag on this one's just a big overhead slash, but whatever. Does the job. I will take that. I didn't think I was going to hit him. Get closer. Switch sides while we're at it. Oh, okay. Hit him with the dash attack too. That's fine. Perhaps I should try that again. Get over here! Is that more your fancy? Come on, don't be like that. I think that's enough. Nope, one more. Okay, there we go. It'll hurt my score a bit, but again, that's not the main focus of this. This is just to place through the game and show off why it's awesome. Or at least why I think it's awesome. While being rescued by the Rangers, the teenagers find out that Billy is the Blue Ranger. Uh-oh! SpaghettiOs! In the meantime, Jason, Zack, and Trini have been invited to the International Peace Summit. In other words, they got written off the show. They are freed of their Power Rangers duties, and the three new ones are chosen. Three teenagers that they had just rescued. But to transfer their powers to the new ones, the Power Rangers must travel to the Forbidden Planet to get the Sword of Legend. Alright, stage five is a blast one. Er, sorry, a fast one, so don't blink. I figure in order to obtain a sword, we should probably, you know, use a sword. Right? Eye for an eye and all that. Or, wait, no, maybe that's not the right context, but still. Anyway, Goldar appears one last time for this, thankfully. I really like the Red Ranger's charge attack. It moves him forward a little bit. Ah. I think that actually did hurt him a little bit, but only a little. Come on.
Come on. One more hit. There we go. And now it's gonna start raining rocks. And thankfully they're gonna do most of the work for me against these putties. Because they got a bit stronger, <laughs> a fair bit, from the uh, from the previous couple of stages. And uh, any assistance is always appreciated. Oh, come on. Running, running, running. Ah. All right, now back to the weaker putt, the weaker variety. Not what I need right now, but thank you. Nope. Still nope. And I think this is the last force fight before we get to the... Whoa! Whoa! It's, it's chaos! Stop it. Oh, this is way worse than my test run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that was not the last one. This is the last one. Probably. I gotta stop saying that. Yes, it is. Okay, good. As soon as we hit the statue, just bop, 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 slash, nope. Run. I don't know how I survived all that. Oh, I know why. It's because the statue is blocking some of those hits for me, but alas. I never said this was going to be a deathless run, so you can't hold me to that. Anyway, as much as I hate to do this, the uh, battery on... The battery's running a little bit low, so I'm going to have to cut it short after the <clears throat> after this cutscene here. Rocky, Aisha, and Adam receive the power from the sword and become the new Power Rangers. And that's the end of the flashback. It's too late to look back. We must face the future, and the future is now, cried Rocky. Yeah, let's go kick some ooze, yelled Aisha. And now the so-called big bad of this adventure is as fused with the uh, with the Hornetrons and created some kind of new monstrosity. But we will do that in the uh, the next video with uh, good old Falcon Zord here, my favorite. Anyway, see you then.